We've got a handful of options to get out and have some fun with the Jacksonville Iceman this month. Alex Reed is joining us. Welcome. Thanks for coming again. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, so let's take a look back at this past week because it was pretty successful for you guys. It was. Uh, it was the best week of the season so far. You know, a little bit of a slow start for the team, mm -hmm. but uh, team won two of the three games, lost the other one in overtime, and out of six possible points in the standings, uh, they were able to get five of them. And uh, just like that, they shoot up two spots in the standings and now awesome. three points out of a playoff positioning. So uh, you just want to be able to keep pace, and, yep. and the team did a, made a big step in that last week. And it's, it's, we're ways away from the playoffs, but it's good to stay, you know, you can't get in the playoffs early in the season, but you can definitely play your way out of it. And you guys, this right. week was really big. Coming up this month, I said we got about five chances or so to see the, the Iceman. Yeah, we have five games. Uh, obviously, one uh, tomorrow night against the Florida Everblades. That'd be a big test. And then Florida's back again next Wednesday. And then uh, three more games, including on the 20th and 21st, just before the, the holiday and Christmas break there. And, of course, uh, a big game we have on, on the 21st scheduled. That is so exciting. I was talking to Hattie actually last week about just how long the schedule is for you guys. Um, how are they doing, like, keeping up that stamina? I mean, that is a long time. <laughs> it, it's, it's a grind. Yeah. Um, you know, it's uh, a 72-game season, and we've, been, we've spent most of the, part, the first part of the year so far on the road. So yeah. uh, our schedule's uh, very back-loaded mm -hmm. uh, with home games in February and March. So Which is good because then you have the home court advantage absolutely and so and that's when the guys probably get the most tired yeah. so the fact they could be at home late in the year I think exactly. that's a, it's going to do the team wonders and give the fans more chance to, to come out and see the team then yeah um, all right so coming up the 21st uh, you, you we talked about this it's a really fun game I mean all the games are yeah. fun but this one's a really cool cool game you guys do a, a cool promotion during one of the intermissions yes yeah, the annual teddy bear toss uh, we just asking fans to bring a, a new or gently used stuffed animal or teddy bear to the game when we uh, score our first goal uh, you can throw it out into the ice the one time legally you can throw yeah. something on the ice <laughs> And then we round them up, and then we uh, distribute them to, uh, to children's charities here locally for the holidays. And so it's a, it's a great promotion. It's also Star Wars night that night. So, Ooh. I mean, it's a great night to be there. It's a Saturday night. So uh, it's a great way to kind of kick off the holiday, it's, and all for a good cause. Yeah. It's, if, you, if you see, you can probably see videos from last year. The, the video yeah. of all these teddy bears flying <laughs> on the ice. It's, it's, it's a spectacle to see. It, yeah. It's really neat. It's, it's a neat thing. And uh, you get eight, you know, eight plus thousand, you know, eight thousand yeah. uh, teddy bears just going down. It's a, it's a pretty cool sight. Something you, you mentioned when we were talking in the commercial break was uh, you guys were on the road for Thanksgiving, but you were in your hometown, so you hooked them up with a, the whole team up with a I, good meal. Huh? I did. Oh. It. Yeah, the schedule worked out perfect where I was able to go. We were on the road in my hometown, which is up in uh, the Virginia Beach, Norfolk area. Very and cool. uh, so the team had a, a nice team dinner. I, I was familiar with the area, so I set the guys up with a, a nice, uh, you know, all you can eat uh, seafood restaurant. And they had Thanksgiving oh, fair man. there as well, but <laughs> the boys loved it. I think they had 15 different desserts, uh, you know, so uh, they, wow. they, they were able to enjoy it, though, because it is tough sometimes when they're away from their oh, homes yeah. for the holidays. Did they win the next game, or were they a little. <laughs> that was the one we lost in overtime. <laughs> Dang it. We got a point, but uh, one you know, less turkey. Yeah, leg. one exactly. <laughs> one less piece of pie, but right. uh, would have done it. But uh, but no, it was, it was either way. It was a good weekend, yeah. and uh, you know, I think the, the guys appreciated it. Yeah, for sure. All right. Yeah. Well, so Wednesday coming up, you guys need to yep. get your tickets. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, JacksIceman.com, Ticketmaster yeah. at the box office at the arena should be a good one uh, against a, a very good opponent in, in the Florida Everblades. And holiday-wise, gifts you can do. Uh, oh, you can yeah. Give the gift of hockey a little early. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. We have so many packages uh, that provide you know different. You know, hockey fans, if you want to mm -hmm. give the gift to hockey, we even have one that it gives you four tickets, four mini sticks, and a, and a $50 uh, Publix gift card as well. So wow. lots of, lots of uh, you know, uh, different tangibles to that uh, package. And they can call our office or visit our website, jacksiceman.com, for those, that, those packages. Very All right, cool. Alex, thank you so much for coming. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. Well, you can check out this segment, again, on our website, firstcoastliving.net.